My musical bird friend. Why did he fly away, Thomas? I think it might be because you were whistling quietly at first, but then whistled very, very, very loudly. Because quiet and loud are opposites. Opposites? What are opposites? Opposites are two things that are different from each other. Like what? Would you like to learn some opposites? Let's try. Let's find an opposite. Ah, there! See that mountain in the distance? How would you describe it? B. And what about that teeny tiny rock down there? Small? Yes! Big and small are opposites. Oh! What else? Ah, see your bird friend high in the sky. Oh, yes. He's way up high. And what about that kitty cat? She's low on the ground. Yes. The bird is up high and the cat is down low. High and low are opposites. I think I'm getting it. Let me try one. Um, the sun can be quite hot. And the wind feels cold. Are uh, hot and cold opposites? Yes, they are. Great job, Percy. Hmm. So I scared the bird because I was too loud. I'd better do the opposite and keep my whistle quiet. <laughs> I think that just might work. <laughs> Today is going to be a great day. Um, I suppose. Percy, is there something wrong? Well, I, I have a special delivery today and it it's causing me to feel something. Something? Yes, something. I I'm not sure what this feeling is, but it's causing me to not want to make the special delivery. Can you help me figure it out, Thomas? Of course, Percy. Let's try it together. Are you feeling happy? Oh, like Nia. Look, Nia looks very happy. Mm, no, I don't think I feel happy. Oh, what about sad? Now Nia is feeling sad. Mm, that's not how I'm feeling either. Hmm, what about surprised? Are you feeling surprised? Surprised is when your face goes... I don't think it's surprised. So it's not happy, and it's not sad, and it's not surprised. Thomas, will we ever figure this out? Not solving this is making me nervous. Wait, what? Nervous. You know, when you feel worried or maybe even a little scared about something. That's it! I'm feeling nervous because this special delivery is bigger than any I've ever done before. I'm worried I won't be able to do it. Oh, well, that makes perfect sense. Oh, thank you for helping me figure that out, Thomas. Would you like me to help you, Percy? Making deliveries with a friend would make me a little less nervous. Thank you, Thomas. That actually makes me feel less nervous. Now I am feeling happy. Me too. Shall we go to make this delivery? Let's do it. <laughs> Percy, what's wrong? Nothing. Why? I just heard you say grrr. You heard me say grrr? Grrr. I did it again. Wait, that's not me. Who is that? Ooh, just go in. Why won't you fit? This is making me very... Cranky, what's wrong? Oh, hello, Thomas. Hello, Percy. I'm trying to organise all this cargo into all of these crates, but I can't get them to fit. Hmm. All the crates seem to be different shapes, and all the cargo are different shapes as well. well. Maybe if we figure out what shape each crate is, we can figure out which cargo goes in which crate. Let's try it. What shape is the crate you're trying to fit that cargo into? It has four straight equal sides. Must be a square. I think you're right. What about this next one? Three straight sides. 
Looks like a triangle to me. Looks like that to me as well. And what about this next one? Nice and round, like our faces. A circle. Correct. <laughs> and this one? Hmm, a little tricky. Looks a little bit like a circle, but stretched out like an egg. So, an oval? Looks oval to me. And one more. Looks almost like a square, but two of the sides are longer. So that must mean it's a rectangle. That's right. So now that we know what shapes all of the crates are, all we need to know now is the shape of the cargo. Circle. Square. square triangle. triangle oval, oval. Rectangle. It worked. Thank you so much. <laughs> you may be fast, Percy, but I'm faster. You may be faster, Thomas, but I'm fastest. <laughs> Oops. Huh? Oh, no. Who's made all this mess on my dockside? Sorry, Cranky. We did. Well, you both need to clean it up. But that would take forever. But it's important to clean up after ourselves. If someone else came down this track, they wouldn't be able to get past. Or worse, they might get hurt. So leaving a mess can create a problem for someone else. I don't want to do that. Cleaning up is the right thing to do. But this sure is a lot to clean. Well, I'm happy to help. Let's try it. Where should we start? We could put everything in a pile. And then I lift each item and put them back where they belong. It'll be a lot of work, but maybe it'll be a lot of fun too. You know what makes everything fun? Singing a little song. Cleaning up can be lots of fun If you sing, sing, sing till the job is done Cleaning up is helpful too Leave a tidy place for me and you <laughs> Wow, Percy, that was super fast And super fun And super clean Who knew cleaning could be so fun? With everything back in its proper place, the tracks and the docks are clean for other friends to use. Thanks for teaching us the importance of cleaning up after ourselves, Cranky. You're welcome. Want to race some more, Percy? Sure, and maybe we'll find more to clean along the way. Cleaning up can be lots of fun If, if you sing, 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 sing till, till the job, job is done, done. Cleaning up is helpful too Leave a tidy place for me and you Come back! Please come back! What was that? Oh, where could they be? Rosie, is everything all right? Oh, Thomas, I was on my way to the animal park to drop off a koala, a baby elephant, a monkey and a panda when the cargo door opened up and the animals escaped. Not only that, but it's time for them to eat. They'll be hungry. We'll help you find those animals, Rosie. Hmm. If they are all hungry, maybe we can lure them back with some yummy food. Different animals eat different foods that they need to be healthy. Well, I have four trucks of food behind me. Bananas, bamboo, eucalyptus branches and apples. So we just need to figure out which food belongs to which animal. Let's try it. Hmm, let's see. Monkeys live up in trees, right? And bananas are found in trees, right? So maybe monkeys eat bananas. <laughs> it worked. What about the panda? What do pandas like to eat? I saw some cute pandas when I was in China and learned that one thing pandas love is eating lots of bamboo. Now the koala. Ooh. Uh, koalas come from Australia and they spend most of their time hanging out in eucalyptus trees. So, maybe the eucalyptus branches? 
<laughs> Way to go, Percy! Thanks. But we've used all the food except for the apples. What type of animal eats apples, Thomas? Baby, Baby elephant! elephant. Oh. Thank you so much for helping me find these animals. <laughs> You're welcome, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Percy comes back soon. It's almost time to go to sleep. <sighs> that must be him now. Hello, Percy, my friend. <laughs> Percy, what happened? I've been making deliveries in the muddy countryside all day, so now I'm a mess. Quite a mess indeed. If you'll excuse me. Hello, Percy. Hello, Emily. And good night, Emily. I'm going to sleep. But Percy, you're so muddy. You can't go to sleep like that. You need to do your bedtime routine first. Emily is right. But what is a routine? A routine is something you do in the same way each and every day. And having a bedtime routine is an important part of falling asleep. Wow, I hadn't thought about it that way. Let's try it. First, I start my bedtime routine by cleaning myself up. Like this. <laughs> oh, oh, it tickles. <laughs> then I read a story or have someone tell me a story. Blah, 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 blah. And that's how I used one of my birthday wishes to save the day. The end. <sighs> oh, I can feel myself getting tired already. And finally, I take three deep breaths to help my body relax. Hmm. I'd like to try that. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, that's nice. Yes. Lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you so much, Thomas and Emily. I really do feel tired. <gasps> <sighs> <sighs> Cleaning up and having a good bedtime routine is a great way to fall asleep. Now, let's go to sleep before we wake him. Good night, Thomas. Good night, Emily. Thomas, what's your favourite colour in the whole world? Blue. It's the colour of the sky. That pretty bird and <laughs> me. Can you guess my favourite colour? Uh, green? How did you know? <laughs> because you are green, Percy. Oh, looks like Sir Topham Hatt is doing a little arts and crafts project. Mm, uh, I suppose this'll do. Uh, hello, sir. What are you doing? Hello, Thomas and Percy. We're preparing for a parade by painting these train coaches different colours. But I wanted lots of different colours. Instead, we just have these three colours, red, blue and yellow. Is there a way we can make more colours? Oh, we need to think. Hmm. Think, 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 think. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, no. <gasps> Is that making a new colour? Mixing red and blue made purple, just like Charlie. So, if you take two colours and mix them together, you get a new colour. And I might be able to paint these train coaches how I originally wanted. Huh, I wonder what other colours we can make. Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's try it. Mixing red and yellow colours together made orange. Just like Nia. What does blue and yellow make? Oh, I hope it makes my favourite colour. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Just like you, Percy. It did make my favourite colour. Thomas and Percy, I cannot thank you enough. Now I can paint these train coaches many different colours just how I imagined. Happy to help, sir. And we should probably help clean up. Is there a fun way to clean up all this paint? Red! Blue! Purple! Green! Yellow! Orange! Catch 
Percy! I got it! Back to you, Thomas! Got it, 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 got it! Ha ha ha! This is so much fun, Percy! <laughs> hey! Who took our ball? I did! Diesel! That's not very nice! I'm just having fun! <gasps> Diesel! That is not fun! It isn't! Well, it was just a joke! Not for us! I'm sorry! I was trying to join in the fun! Maybe I should have joined in a different way! But how? We can show you! A good friend plays well with others by thinking about their feelings! Hmm, so if I think about your feelings and not just my own, I'm more likely to share? Exactly! A good friend shares and takes turns! Your turn, Diesel! Catch! Yeah, that does feel nice! I'd like to give Sharon a shot! Perhaps we could share with some other friends! <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, catch! <laughs> <laughs> Oh! James! Heads up! Oh! <laughs> Sharing feels great! <laughs> oh! It sure does! Yeah. <laughs> 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 hmm! Flynn's a funny looking tank engine. Tank engine? Percy, Flynn's not a tank engine. He's a different kind of vehicle. Vehicle. What's a vehicle? A vehicle is something used for moving all sorts of things around. Like what? Like a fire truck. Flynn's a fire truck, which is a vehicle that helps put out fires. But that's just one kind of vehicle. There are so many. Oh, I'd love to learn them all, but how? Well, sometimes if you look closely at the clouds, you can see fun shapes. Maybe we can find some vehicle shapes in the clouds. Great idea. Let's try it, Thomas. Oh, there. That one looks like a helicopter. A helicopter is a vehicle that quickly moves people or things by flying them high up in the air with the help of its big propellers. Oh, yes, I see it. It looks just like Harold. <laughs> it sure does. What other vehicles are there? Oh, I see a dump truck. Yes, see, doesn't that look just like Monty? Oh, yes, now I see it. Mm -hmm. A dump truck is a vehicle that can hold lots of loose dirt, move it around and put it somewhere else. Now I want to find one this time. I see one! I see one! That cloud looks like a boat with its little triangle sail! I see it too! It looks just like Skiff the sailboat! He's a vehicle that moves by the power of the wind! I think I'm getting the hang of this! I think you are too! Helicopter! Sailboat! Dump truck! Spotting vehicles is fun! <laughs> it sure is! I wonder what other vehicles we might see! I can't wait to find out! Percy, it's Emily. Hello, Emily. How are you? Not good, Thomas. I've lost my friendship chain. That's awful. Percy and I would be happy to help you look for it. That's wonderful. Now, whereabouts did you lose it? I'm not quite sure, but I passed 20 freight trucks since I last remember having it. So if we head back the way you came and count 20 freight trucks as we go, we should be able to find your friendship chain no problem. Well, I've never counted that high. How will I know when we get to 20? I'll help you, Percy. Really? Let's try it. This one is easy. One. Let's do this together and I'll help you when you need it. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, 
Ten. <laughs> You're doing great, Percy. Thanks, Thomas. Though this is where it starts to get tricky for me. That's okay. Just repeat each number after me. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty. And look, Thomas, we did it. We found Emily's friendship chain. And you counted to twenty, Percy. Well done. Here is your friendship chain, Emily. Thank you so much, Thomas and Percy. You are very welcome. You're welcome. What should we count now, Percy? Hmm, how about trees? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. That's a lot of trees, Thomas.